I am the captain of my soul and I decide my fate. I choose to be what I am. Wow, that truly lifts our spirit. And this is what we are here for. Avenue 2021 is organized with the vision to empower and facilitate students to navigate their future and make their dreams real. Clarity, commitment, inspiration, combined with a real plan will actually move you along the path to making your dream come true. It takes effort, energy, and commitment to achieve your goals. So you need to be sure it is what you really want before investing your time and resources into achieving it. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Good morning, everyone. We wholeheartedly welcome dignitaries from the Ministry of Education, Honorable Chairman, Board of Directors, Dr. Shivakumar Mankum, and other esteemed members of the Board of Directors, officials from the Indian Embassy, Mr. Akesh Joshi, Honorary President of the School Management Committee, Indian School of Wadi Al Kabir, presidents and members of the School Management Committees of all Indian schools in Oman and from other schools and boards across the globe, principals. Vice principals, heads of various departments, coordinators, teachers, parents, and all the enthusiastic aspirants. Thank you, one and all, for your gracious presence here this morning. A very warm welcome to all present here virtually with us for this session on day two of Avenue 2021, which is set to be a nine day global career guidance program. This year, Indian School Al Wadi Al Kabir is the proud torch bearer of this mega event under the aegis of the Board of Directors, Indian Schools in the Sultanate of Oman. Welcome all once again. Your hosts for this morning are Alna of Class 9 and Zoya of Class 8 from Indian School Al Wadi Al Kabir. Dear audience, it is a pleasure and privilege to have you all here with us on this journey of making our dreams reality by making right choices on the intersection point of rising opportunity and our life preparations. You are requested to fill the feedback form which will be posted in the chat box towards the end of the session. Filling this form is necessary as it will fetch you a participation certificate. For those who have joined through YouTube, you are requested to check the description box for the link of the feedback form. Where you study can be almost as important as what you study. If you choose the right university, your time as a student is likely to be enjoyable and fulfilling. An increasing number of students are opting for Australia for its world-class education, post-study work opportunities, and excellent quality of living. Queensland University of Technology is a major Australian university with a global outlook and a real world focus. They offer a diverse and multicultural environment in which to study with more than 50,000 students, including international students from more than 140 countries. We live in a world that is constantly changing and QUT remains ready to capitalize on the opportunities that the change brings. QUT stands out from the crowd for international students with its excellent and flexible program choices, a wide range of activities, affiliations, and other internationally renowned universities, excellent teachers, exciting campus life, and whatnot. QUT is full of opportunities, but sometimes it can be hard to know which way to look first. So, ladies and gentlemen, Today, we are honored to have with us an eminent representative, Mr. Sajal Paul from Queensland University of Technology, who would discuss about programs and courses they offer. At QUT, you can choose from more than 100 real world courses and turn your passion into a rewarding career. Before that, let's watch a video presentation about the university. My name is Divya Dwaraknath and I am from Chennai, India. This is my third year in Brisbane and with QUT. 
I have an undergraduate degree in dentistry and I completed my master with health, safety and environment in PUT last year. PUT is a university with a global outlook mainly focused on the real world experience which is very important for international students because the whole purpose of our studies is to understand how everything is handled in the real world. Another reason why I chose QUT is because the campus is just behind me, in the centre of the city. So this is the place where I spend most of my time now, the Centre for Children's Health Research. Let me take you inside to show you what I do over here. Come on! blessed to have gotten this opportunity and to be working with a multidisciplinary team. So where should we go for lunch? Definitely. Jacob, are you joining us for lunch? I am. I actually have no idea. I just said it well. Alright. Okay. So KFC is off. For the time I think it's funny, I was I just don't want to paint the picture that my life is all about studying over here. I do so many other things after hours. Uh, I'm a part of a dance group over here and I make sure that I get my dancing going every week and at the same time I love to check out new places in Brisbane. Every week in Brisbane comes up with a different festival or the other and me and my friends, including my work friends, we make sure that we go and check out all these new places in the city and explore as much as we can. By far, this is one of the best decisions that I've made in my life. Being an international student, it is important to come here with an open mind and you have to let this university and place go on you.
was indeed a splendid video. Dear audience, you are requested to post your queries in the chat box. Our distinguished speaker will answer them in the Q&A session. Now I call upon our guest speaker for the session, Mr. Sajal Paul from Queensland University of Technology. Over to you, sir, for your presentation. Thank you very much for your warm welcome and for those lovely videos, um, both for the Brisbane City as well as for QUT. Um, I will just share my screen and then I will uh, start with my presentation today. Just give me a moment. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Great. All right. So um, in today's session, uh, I'll be speaking about the study opportunity at the Queensland University of Technology, which is located in Brisbane, which is the capital of Queensland and is the third largest city of Australia. So first housekeeping matters. Uh, today's will be a one hour session. Uh, first half an hour would be the presentation uh, followed by half an hour of Q and A. Uh, you could post your Q and A into the chat function, which would be taken up after the presentation. And post today's session, we will be having a one-on-one -on -one counseling session on the 3rd and the 9th of November uh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Oman time. Uh, for students who are looking to apply at that point in time or probably even later, uh, we would be able to uh, uh, provide an application fee waiver, which is about approximately $100 for the application. And if you'd like to attend the session, to have more of your personalized queries, then please input your details on the following link, which is currently link, which I will uh, share with you uh, in the chat box uh, so that you can, you can uh, basically go into that and, um, you know, uh, fix up an appointment with me. So uh, without further ado, let me take you to the presentation. So Brisbane is, uh, as I said, is the, capital of Queensland. Uh, we have a population of about 2.5 million people. Uh, we have been noted as one of the world's most livable cities. And importantly, we have recently been declared as the host city of the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Uh, it's, a, it's a tropical climate out here. So we've got 283 days of sunshine across the year. And uh, we have been ranked 22 probably in the QS best student cities in 2019 as well. That's the Australian map. As you would see, we are about an hour by flight to Sydney and about two hours flight to Melbourne. Uh, these are some of the other things, important things which are here. So it's not only about studies, but also about a lot of fun and activities. So when it's Gold Coast, which is one hour drive on our other side, to the Koala Century, to the Dreamworld theme park, to the Broadway Q Pack, to Goma, to South Bank Parklands, which is just a bridge away from QUT, and it's walking distance from our Gardens Point campus. Uh, where is QUT? Uh, uh, as you would see in that slide, we have got two inner city campuses, both located within the heart of the city. One is the Gardens Point campus and the other is the Kelvin Grove campus. They are about 10 minutes drive from each other and we've got three shuttle bus services operating within these both these campuses, which is free for both students and staff. Uh, these are some of our rankings, et cetera, and about our credentials and facts and figures of the university. Uh, so we have been ranked number one university in Australia as per Times Higher Education Young University ranking of 2020. We've got five-star rating for overall student, ex uh, overall education experience of students in the Good Universities Guide of 2020. We have been ranked 
and the global top 50 for employee student connection and 101 and 110 worldwide for graduate employability in the QS graduate employee rankings of 2020. Uh, we have got over 500 industry partners for real world experience. Our staff have about 110 plus university teaching awards. Uh, so the, a whole lot of uh, allocates to the university. Uh, and also it just shows the experience we bring along with to, to our teaching capability to the students. Real world experiences. Our, experience, our course emphasizes practical experience and hands-on learning. That is the reason all our collaterals will say the university of the real world. We have close connections with industry and government partners, whether it is to do with practical learning, international opportunities, building strong networks, work placements, uh, mentor programs, or what we call as coached by professionals, et cetera. And these are some of the universities our students have either worked with or have done work integrated learning or have some kind of an association with. We really not do not only teach our students, but we also preach entrepreneurship. Uh, we have had, we have got a foundry area out here and we have got hundreds of startups which that foundry department has facilitated of students who are wanting to come out and start their own venture with their learning curves here at QUT. Uh, so I am sure some of you would have seen or played the Fruit Ninja game. Uh, that is, it has actually was built by our students, our alumni of QUT and our, we were, the university was quite instrumental in helping them uh, with their uh, entrepreneurial project, which they did of creating this particular grain. So what do we teach? What will you study? Uh, importantly on that, basically we cover pretty much all study areas. I think easier would be to, me to tell you what is it that we do not cover. So we do not cover medicine, dentistry and veterinary science. The only reason we don't that is because we do not uh, we do not have our own uh, hospital. However, we are very big in allied health program as well, and I will talk to you as I proceed through the slides. So we have uh, we have programs in business, creative industries, education, engineering and IT, English and pathway programs, uh, health, law, science, and social justice. So pretty much the entire gambit of it all. When can you study? Well, usually there are two major intakes, which is semester one and semester two intake as we call it. And then there is a summer intake, which also happens. So the main intake happens in February. All our programs will have at least one semester one intake. So that means all our programs are offered in the first semester. In the second semester or second intake, which is in July, we have most, again, not all, but most of our programs are still available in the second semester intake in July. The third uh, semester intake, we have just the uh, Bachelor's of Business and Master's of Business program. And also uh, we have got our college programs, which is the diploma or the foundation or English language early course pathways available during that period in summer. So where can your degree take you? We've got a huge network of alumni across the globe. So students not only studying and working in Australia, whereas the US, UK, Europe, India, again, across South Asia, Oman, UAE, Kuwait. So we've got lots of students again in the GCC countries where you are currently studying in one of them. Uh, working both in the private sector as well as the government sector, and, and a lot of them on very high positions as well. Alumni connect Connections, these are just a very handful of uh, the organizations we have mentioned, uh, where our students are currently working or have worked previously, just some of them. So you will get an idea about it. Actually for Boeing, Boeing has a big workshop here in Brisbane and that is where we have a number of our students who do their bachelor's of engineering in aerospace and electrical go and do their internship as well. 
so they get lots of hands-on experience with them. Within the engineering area, we teach uh, students. So we start with the Diploma of Engineering. We've got the Bachelor of Engineering programs, which is an honors program. It is a four-year honors program. And we've got the following specializations available, uh, chemical processing, civil, computer and software systems, electrical and aerospace, electrical and mechanical, mechatronics, and medical engineering as well. Then we've got the Bachelor of Design, which is an architecture. We've got Master of Architecture. We've got Masters of Project Management and some of the other Masters of Programs. But again, number of Bachelors of IT programs are available as well. So a whole lot of uh, options available for you. Business, we were in the top 1% of business schools worldwide. We were the first a business school in Australia to have gotten the three international accreditation. So the accreditation by the AACSB, which is from the US, Aquis, which is from Europe, and Ember from the UK. There are hardly very few business schools worldwide which have all the three international accreditation. I do note that quite a few of you students are from CBSC board who are attending this session today. And some of you may have been also from India. Uh, some of you may recognize that there is the ions out there. Uh, right until 2019, if I remember correctly, there weren't any uh, ions which had it. But from late 2019, some of the ions started to get the three international accreditation. So that you will understand as to how prestigious that is. Over 90% of our QT business and management graduates were employed four months after graduation, according to Australian government quality indicators for learning and teaching website. Again, Bachelor's of Business program, we've got the diploma, we've got a number of specializations, whether it is accounting, advertising, economics, financial planning, human resource management, international business, management, marketing, and public relations. I'm aware that you are all year 12 students or, or probably year 11 and 10 students as well. So I will not go into the master's details, but this is about the bachelor's program. Health, again, whole lot of uh, allied health programs available. Uh, we have the oldest running nursing school in Queensland, one of the largest in Australia. We've got two intakes for nursing. We've got uh, hands-on health clinics available at the university, five of them, uh, you know, which are looking at offering quality uh, patient care to the community for clinical exercise physiology, nutrition and dietetics, optometry, podiatry, psychology and counseling. Uh, so again, a whole lot of programs, right from nursing, graduate entry, uh, behavioral science psychology, medical imaging, bachelor's of vision science. Uh, and again, there are a number of uh, programs which I've not mentioned here, but which are available. So if somebody wants to get into, uh, uh, what do you call, bachelor's of health information system uh, to uh, bachelor's of public health and things of that sort, we have it all. Creative industries, we were the first in Australia and 16th in the world for communication and media studies in the QS World University ranking the subject 2021. Uh, we offer programs such as Bachelor's of Design in Fashion, Industrial Design, Interaction Design, uh, Interior Architecture, Visual Communication, uh, Bachelor's of Creative Industries in Creative and Professional Writing, uh, Media and Communication, drama and performance, entertainment, fashion communication, uh, interactive and visual design, music and sound, screen content production, uh, bachelors of communication, bachelors of fine arts. So a whole lot of uh, uh, specialization and study is available. Education, uh, in it, you, may know, you may find it quite interesting, but the fact remains that uh, education graduates are very much in demand here in Australia. Uh, uh, we are one of only two uh, universities in Australia which have full-fledged uh, faculty of education. The rest only have schools of education uh, within the university, but we have full-fledged uh, faculty, as I said. 97.8% uh, of our graduates of undergraduate education courses were employed four months after graduation. So you can see pretty much most of the students who who finished their education degree, got a job uh, here in Australia. Uh, 
we got programs such as bachelors of education early childhood primary and secondary and then again we've got the master's program available with us law and social justice uh, we've got the bachelor of law honors program bachelors of justice graduate diploma in legal practice uh, only university in brisbane with a legal uh, practical legal training uh, program available which was established more than 40 years ago uh, we arrange for hands on experience for you with a four week placement in a law office we got a moot course and importantly uh, as you see this year priyanka gupta she did her bachelor of justice in law and those of you students who are from india it would be heartening to know that our bachelor's of law degree is uh, is recognized by the bar council of india so you just need to go and give an exam there and uh, you can apply for uh, your professional membership with the bar council of india in case you choose to do so science information and technology uh, uh, we have uh, we got right from diploma of it to bachelor of it to bachelor of science bachelor of mathematics bachelor of data science um, again a lot of accredited programs high tech laboratories industry connections um, for the students to make the make maximum use of during their studies for students who are unable to get into our university programs directly uh, they can come via the qt college programs where we offer the pathways whether it's to do with diploma or a foundation for students who are unable to meet the english language entry requirement uh, they can come and do their english language programs with us and we can package it with our, our bachelor's program so yeah uh, again you can even come and do double degrees not just necessarily a single degree uh, which could uh, and gain two degrees in less time because that also does happen for example you can study uh, uh, and also not only a, a double bachelor's degree but you can also study what we call as a double vertical degree so you can study a, a bachelor's and a masters in one package just in a four year duration rather rather than a five year so you save on one year so whether it's a bachelor's of medical biomedical science and a master of data analytics or a bachelor's of mathematics and a master's of teaching or a bachelor's of science with a master of teaching so a whole lot of options i have just mentioned a couple of them out here uh, scholarships yes uh, we have uh, three scholarships available at qut the first one being international merit scholarship which is 25% tuition fee waiver for first two semesters of study at qut uh, available for uh, eligible courses in all faculties uh, and then once you after that after the first two semesters if you maintain a gpa of 5.5 on a 7 scale uh, you can continue to get it in the next year as well except for the faculty of health which just offers this for the first two semesters only in terms of requirement since you are from the cbsc board most of you or if in case you are also from the isc board so please note students who have got 80% marks where uh, in their year 12 subjects in, in, in the best of five subjects. So we look at two languages and three academic subjects, excluding physical education. Or in some instances, I do note that some students only do one language and three academics, uh, four academic subjects, then that also would be fine. So that's the kind of thing we're looking at. 80%, which I know is not a very tall order for CVSC and IAC students. For those of you who are from international baccalaureate schools, we're looking at an aggregate of 34 po uh, um, points. And for uh, students who are doing the IGSC A-levels, we're lo looking at 12 A-level points based on the aggregate of best of three academic subjects. So, uh, so for example, an A is a five, a B is a four, a C is a three. Uh, if you get, uh, let's say three Bs, uh, you'll you'll get it, or you'll get two A's and one, one C, you'll still be able to get the scholarship then the other scholarship we have is the english for academic purpose bursary we can you may be eligible for up to 15 weeks of free english for academic purpose for new commencing international students who commence eap before december 2021 and start subsequent academic program for august 2022 we got qut college merit scholarship which again ranges between 2600 australian dollars to 3,120, which will be off the first semester fees. 
the merit scholarship for the college diploma program is the uh, for CBSC and ISC board is 50% marks in the best of five academic subjects in your year 12. Again, similar to the International Merit Scholarship, we look at two languages and three academic subjects or one language and four academic subjects. Students from IGAC, SEA levels, we are looking at a, a, a aggregate score of four based on the best of three A-level subjects. Student life and support, we've got over 150 clubs and societies, diverse on-campus food options, events and weekend trips, 24 seven safety and security available on all, both the campuses, fitness and sporting facilities, we've got full-fledged swimming pools, gymnasiums in both the campuses, counseling and health services, career employment and support services, language and learning support and QT accommodation service. So we can help organize accommodation for you once you're here. Career and employment support within our programs, we have got practical experience and hands-on learning, work integrated learning unit throughout your course, work experience placements and volunteering programs, internships, involvement in real world projects. In addition to that, we've got uh, finding a part-time job or a casual walkthrough through a QT's UniHub, assistant with job searching techniques, investigate career options, explore your employability through networking, resume writing, and more at the career mentor program, uh, graduate support, career fairs, a whole lot of uh, you know, support services which are available to you, including feedback on your resume and cover letter as well. Uh, this is in terms of accommodation, uh, cost of weekly expenses. So looking at uh, rent, food, transportation, electricity, internet bill, uh, telephone, uh, printing, stationary entertainment, approximately it works out to 420 to 440 Australian dollars per week. Yeah, we in Australia tend to calculate our uh, expenses on a weekly basis. The impact of COVID and online studies. Yes, Australia's borders are currently closed and entry to Australia remains strictly controlled to help prevent the spread of COVID. Uh, within Australia's COVID-19 outbreak has been very controlled, as you are aware, and as such, life and work study has generally remained business as usual. QT campus are currently open on a face-to-face -face class basis for students who are here with COVID safe guidelines in place. However, there are certain courses which are impacted, means uh, you can still do them. Of course, you'll have to not do a full load, but you'll have, you can study some units. Uh, and then, of course, there are a couple which are unavailable as well. All our courses are available to start online for, uh, all other courses are available to start online for 2022. You can start online without de delaying your career plans. There is already talk about, as you would have heard in the news, about Australia slowly but surely looking to open its borders. And we are optimistically hopeful that uh, you know things would start to progress early next year. Uh, so basically we can start your program, uh, build your career skills, uh, you know, engage with seamless learning while the latest technology, et cetera, et cetera. And then as and when the borders open uh, in over the next few months, you can always come across to us and start your study in a face-to-face -face mode. These are some of the useful uh, web links for international students. So this is our main website, which talks about how do you apply, application steps, scholarships, social media links, uh, whether it's international student stories, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, again, other useful links, COVID information, FAQ for students, our brochures, et cetera. So yeah, thank you. Uh, that was pretty much the end of my presentation. So I hope you liked the presentation and I am uh, more than happy now to uh, to take any questions uh, which you would have. And if I could have uh, one of uh, the administration team to help uh, raise those questions with me, and I will try and help uh, answer them as best as I possibly can. But again, as I said, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, uh, I've already uh, pasted the Calendly invitation link on the chat function. You can access that and set up a one-on-one -on -one counseling with me on the 3rd and the 9th of November, wherein I'll be able to help you more on an intimate basis. And as I said previously, I will be able to also do application fee waiver 
which is which is the university has a fee of hundred dollars per application, which I'll be able to waive it off for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It was truly an enriching and empowering session. Sir, may I now invite a moderator for the session, Ms. Prasita Sridharan, to share with you the questions raised by our audience. Thank you, Zoya. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It, it has been a wonderful session and QUT is just amazing. And here I have a few questions ready in the chat, which have been raised by our valued audience. And the very first question is, do students have to study a fixed set of subjects or can they individually form their major? A very good question indeed. So with every uh, course which you study, there'll be some subjects which we call as uh, compulsory subjects. So they have to study those subjects, whether let's say, let's say, take a hypothetical example, if you're studying Bachelor of Business with a major in marketing, there will be some core subjects which, which you'll have to study from the business area and the marketing area. But out here, it's all about flexibility and having the best learning outcome and best learning curve as you would like to have it. So there'll be a whole lot of what we call as elective subjects, which the student can choose from. Now, the best thing with QUT is it will not only pertain to, let's say, business related subjects, but it could also pertain to subjects from other area. Let's say hypothetically from IT, from psychology, etc. So even let's say though two students are doing the same course with the same specialization and they both can have a very different learning outcome depending on the uh, elective subjects they choose to study. Thank you, sir. Well explained. My next question. Okay. Uh, you have already explained the academic calendar in the beginning. And one of the enthusiastic aspirants want to know, when does the next academic year start? Yeah. So the next academic year would start in February. That's our main intake, what we call as the first intake. And followed by that will be the second intake in July. As I mentioned in my presentation, the first intake has all the courses which we offer available in that intake. Wherein for the July intake, not all courses are available. But yeah, we try and see whatever maximum courses we can offer for the July intake. And a very short offering in the, in the November intake, or what we call as the summer intake. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question. Are there any campus recruit, recruitments? If yes, what is the criteria? And could you please name some of the companies which visit your university for placements? Okay. So the way uh, placements or job opportunities are done uh, in here in Australia is quite different to the way it's done in some of the other South Asian countries. So technically, as I was saying, we've got a, a career mentor program is there, which is one of the largest in Australia. We've got a, a, a careers department, which helps students in terms of how to even find jobs as a student. How do you even make, uh, not only how do you write your CV, but for a lot of jobs, you have to even uh, write about the selection criteria. Selection and criteria writing is an art by itself. So we do a lot of that. Now, again, uh, we do not have the, the way campus placements are done, as I said previously in South Asia. A lot of the companies uh, here in Australia tend to ask or want the students to apply themselves to them. They want to sh see the students' own initiative. And that is not only for our uh, international student, but that also holds good for our domestic students. So I did, uh, if you uh, would recollect in my presentation, I talked about the five-star uh, job employability ratings of QUT. Uh, actually, it would also, I would like to let you know that we, QUT for the last few years has remained the number one choice university for domestic student within our big state of Queensland. And that just goes to show the faith students have on the kind of education which we provide students. And that is the reason we are, we are known here in Australia as the university of the real world. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And one of the students was asking to explain the fee structure that you follow at QUT. Yeah. Can it be so, paid in installments? Yeah. Yes, sir. So usually uh, every course, of course, would have their own fee structure. 
Uh, as part of the acceptance process, the student will have to pay the first semester fees of the program. So let us say a student is coming for a bachelor's of business program, which is a three year program. That means each, each uh, year we have got two semesters. We, are, we have a semester system here at KUT. So he will only have to pay for the first semester and then have to pay for the OSSC, which is the overseas student health cover for the entire three year duration of the program. Now that is not the money which will be given to the university. That is to a provider which will ensure that their uh, health insurance is looked after. And that's a mandatory requirement by the government of Australia. Thank you, sir, for answering all, all my questions so patiently, patiently and effectively. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Over to Zoya. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We are truly grateful for your relevant, valued, and patient answers to all our queries. I'm sure the participants are enlightened and have got a true picture about the prospects available for them at your esteemed organization. Audience, if you have any more queries, kindly contact our esteemed speaker, Mr. Sajal Paul, and do remember to kindly fill in the feedback form. Frederick Nietzsche said, the essence of beautiful art, all great art is gratitude. As we have come to an end of this session, I deem it a privilege to put my gratitude into words. It is my pleasure to propose a word of thanks. On behalf of Indian School Alwadi Al Kabir, the organizing team, and the entire audience, let me first express a profound gratitude to His Majesty, Sultan Hatam bin Tariq Al Said, for the magnanimous benevolence showered at the Indian diaspora in the Sultanate of Oman. May the Almighty shower abundant blessings on His Majesty and peaceful and prosperous country of our residents. We extend heartfelt thanks to our eminent speaker, Mr. Sajal Paul from Queensland University of Technology. Thank you, sir. The session was truly informative and enlightening. It opened up new vistas in front of us. Our deepest sense of appreciation and gratitude to Dr. Shivakumar Manikam, Chairman, Board of Directors, Indian Schools in Oman. Thank you, sir, for your encouraging presence and guidance at all times. Our sincere thanks to our esteemed members of the various boards of directors, CBSC officials, distinguished members of the MOE Oman, and officials of the Embassy of India, Sultanate of Oman, for their overwhelming encouragement at all times. Our heartfelt thanks to Mr. Alkesh Joshi, the Honorary President of Indian School Alwadi Al Kabir Management Committee, and other members of the School Management Committee for their profound encouragement at all times. I wish to take this opportunity to thank our prudent captain of the ship, Mr. D. N. Rao, Principal of ISWK, Honorable Principals of various schools spread across the globe, Vice Principals, Assistant Vice Principals, coordinators, supervisors, and the entire teaching fraternity for their support and guidance. I wish to thank each and every one of you for your valuable presence in making this session a grand success. We are indeed grateful to our platinum sponsor, StudyGo, gold sponsors, GEM Group of Institutions, Green Matter Academics, Wellar Institute of Technology, Sri Ramachandra Institute of Higher Education, Bronze Sponsors, Middle East College, Oman, Tupper Institute of Engineering and Technology, Dallas Baptist University, MIT World Peace University, Pune, Digital Marketing Partner, Spectrum, Media Sponsor, The Arabian Stories, and Valued Donors. An event of this kind requires the coordination of a committed team. My earnest and heartfelt thank you to my ISWK team behind the scenes working tirelessly and making Avenue 2021 a tangible reality. Last but not the least, I thank Almighty God for making this session a great success. Thank you all. See you soon for the next session, which is a presentation by the University of Western Australia, and it starts at 10.45 a.m. Take care and have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.